Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Devonte, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. So, another day, another wrestling drama. Let's put this son bitch in the pot, stir it up, let it simmer, and serve it right into your mouth, hot and tasty, like P Diddy. So, what's got the wrestling world up in arms again? Because we can't go one day without wrestling drama stirring up somewhere, right? Apparently, WWE allegedly, allegedly, allegedly are in talks with Brock Lesnar. Links are down in the description box below if you'd like to follow along. Check it out. So, we'll go directly towards this part right here. According to a recent report, WWE has been in talks with Brock Lesnar regarding the comeback. And I quote, I can't tell you definitely yes, but my inside people in WWE have told me they're talking. That's the most I know. According to Fightful Select, though, there are no creative plans in place for Lesnar, and if conversations have occurred, we've not been briefed on that. The report added that Lesnar is among a couple of names that were not to be mentioned on television. As a result, the star has not been featured in video packages or been referenced in promos or on commentary, if at all possible. While Cody Rhodes did reference Lesnar via a nickname on Raw, those close to the world champion have said they're not aware of his status changing. A source in creative added that there, have, there haven't been any updates on Lesnar in months, and they don't expect him to be brought back while there's an ongoing federal investigation. But that's not the problem. See, just to kind of catch you guys up on the lore in regards to what's going on, if you don't know what allegations are being talked about, I'm pretty sure you know what allegations as far as the Vince McMahon stuff, but you're probably wondering, some of you, what allegations, what part that Brock Lesnar play in all this mumbo jumbo, this wacky scenario that we call pro wrestling. Here, check it out real quick. Link is down in the description box below. Here. Uh, so it goes right to, okay. And I quote, the suit didn't name the professional wrestler, but described him as both a UFC fighter and WWE talent. People familiar with the matter identify the wrestler as Brock Lesnar, one of WWE's biggest names. And according to the suit, according to the lawsuit, uh, Vince McMahon also used sex toys, yada, 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 yada. We don't care about that. We know all about that. Regarding Lesnar, the victim has also alleged that after the Beast Incarnate, they said Best Incarnate, nice, so fucking based. After the Beast Incarnate saw, signed a new contract, McMahon allegedly texted her, or texted her saying, and I quote, that part of the deal was fucking you. McMahon allegedly gave Lesnar the victim's phone number as well. Thereafter, Lesnar allegedly called for a quote unquote play date in December of 2021, but a snowstorm canceled plans. So the part that Brock Lesnar played in the Janelle Grant lawsuit is essentially that he wanted to fuck the shit out of her, seeing some pictures of her, and then he was asking, can we set up an appointment so I can fuck the shit out of you? Two consenting adults talking like this, and apparently, this means Brock Lesnar also shitted on her head. This apparently means that Brock Lesnar, for some reason, plays a part in the sex trafficking. Now, mind you, once again, Brock Lesnar did nothing to this woman, nor does the contract thing that Vince McMahon is talking about, I'm pretty sure is even a real thing, because one, what? That, what? I'm pretty sure he was being sarcastic. I'm pretty sure that was Brock Lesnar just having a handshake deal with the old man saying, hey, I'll sign your contract if you if you let me fuck her type of shit. I'm pretty sure it wasn't legitimately and literally written in the contract. But once again, Brock Lesnar, just one of the boys, has no product, has nothing worth selling. I get it from a Vince McMahon standpoint, symbolically. I understand. Brock Lesnar, nothing. And once again, he didn't participate in anything. Nothing ever happened. But I guess the insinuation is enough to get people off their fucking rockers. And they want Brock Lesnar's head on the pole. I mean, granted, they can't do it themselves because Brock Lesnar beat the ever-loving shit out of all these people. But they still nonetheless want Brock Lesnar's head on the pole. Now, mind you, if any of these hypocrites, the majority of them, I'm talking mostly about the man, maybe even some women, were put into a position where, I don't know, someone offered them a woman to fuck or a woman to fuck, I guarantee you there's a good chunk. I will say most likely over 90% of men will probably go for it. But we're going to pretend as if this is a situation completely unique to Brock Lesnar and only Brock Lesnar, because apparently he's the worst person in the world for not having sex with, you know, a person who consented to have sex with a bunch of guys and got pissed off because she didn't get paid and therefore, you know, 
Yay! Oh boy. So let's go to Twitter real quick and let's hear some of their brain dead responses. After the report came through via Cultaholic, which by the way, I'm not saying that they're the ones to break it, but unfortunately they're the ones to report on it before FIFO shut the shit down. We got a bunch of comments underneath their posts. Fuck him and whoever wants him back. He spelled home back. Fucking retard. Other people are saying underneath the post also, gross, legitimately convinced this company would try to rehab Chris Benoit's image if he were alive and willing to work for them. Yes, because, you know, what I like to do is compare a child, mu a, a child murderer to a person who is consenting with another consenting adult to have sex with them. But I guess because she got shit on her head that apparently makes Brock Lesnar the worst person in the world, even though he has nothing to do with that. May I, did I did I not mention the part that he didn't have sex with a woman who consented to have sex with him? No. Oh, okay. Just just wondering. Okay. Just okay. Continuing on though, we got some more brain dead fucking tweets. Let me guess. It took them so long because he wasn't allowed to piss on the woman anymore. Ah, oh, clever. To paraphrase Tyler the Creator, are you fucking dumb? Ah, super creative. Also, uh, this will be one of WWE's most disgusting moves in years. He wouldn't ever be back. He planned to rape a woman. <laughs> yeah, he planned to rape a woman by making an appointment with her to have sex with her. Mm hmm. Totally. These are the people that we're fucking with right now. These are the simpletons. Simple. If he was guilty, hell no. And I would be disappointed as fuck as a fan by his actions. But if he's not guilty, I'm excited and still his fan, like for the past decade, guilty of planning an appointment to fucking woman who consented to wanting to fuck him back because of a deal that they both made consenting to each other that never, ever happened. Oh, look at this one. Is he not a sexual predator? I, we can go on and on about this. This is underneath the Cultaholic post. As a matter of fact, I'll leave a link down below also. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be multiple threads doing the same thing and commenting you know, on the same thing because, again, we're a bunch of fucking morons and we have brain dead people like this spreading misinformation and um, pretending as if Brock Lesnar is a sexual predator and a sexual deviant based off of the things that Vincent Mann has done and they're going to coincide Brock Lesnar with him. Now, obviously, we're going to get a couple of people out there who are going to say things. Devontae, you're a fucking idiot. Brock Lesnar absolutely is a horrible person. Janelle Grant was being sex trafficked, and Brock Lesnar took part of the sex trafficking. One, coercion, threatening, all that stuff has yet to be proven in the court of law. You are just saying that. We know that Vince McMahon has text messages. We know that she, he has this, he has that, he has this, he has that. I don't doubt in my mind that Vince McMahon is a sick fuck, but there's an actual definition in regards to sex trafficking that has to be applied here and has not been proven yet. We have been going over this for a full fucking year. Stop being a retard. So never mind the fact that from a federal lawful standpoint, nothing has happened to Vince McMahon yet in regards to sex trafficking because it's pretty fucking obvious that Janelle Grant colluded in all of this and most likely is just upset because she wasn't paid the money that she was owed by Vince McMahon doing all the things that he did with her. So now, you know, obviously lawsuits, all this stuff. That's pretty clear what the fuck is happening here. But like I said, everybody has their opinions and we have to wait till the court case is finished. Nevertheless, though, Brock Lesnar didn't do anything wrong, even if he did participate in fucking Janelle Grant, which, by the way, he didn't. He didn't do anything wrong. He did not at all, regardless of fucking her rape her. They both consented. Why? How do I know? Because they were going to make an appointment together to do things together for her to get paid money to do things with Brock Lesnar together. That makes her a whore. That makes her a hooker, technically. That's not me saying that as an insulting manner. That's by definition. When you have sex with other people for money in return with no coercion attached to it, that makes you a prostitute. But like I said, court documents will prove most of this when it comes out, even though we got pretty much the context of what the fuck is going on here. Vincent Mann is a depraved psychopath who wants to do all these disgusting things, and he's the head of a company, hence why he was kicked out. And Janelle Grant is a money-hungry person who didn't get paid the majority of her money, and she's going to file a lawsuit. And 
Apparently we have to take the actions of the deplorable things that Vincent Min has done and ignore the fact that she also is not a victim. And also we have to take all that stuff and transfer it to Brock Lesnar and pretend as if two consenting adults didn't do anything. So this is the outrage. This is the outrage. Now, obviously multiple things can be taken away from this. I think the number one thing personally, if I was Brock Lesnar, I would tell everybody to kiss my ass and go fuck yourselves. I am rich as fuck. I live in bumfuck USA. Actually, no, I think he lives in Canada now. He lives in bumfuck Canada in the middle of goddamn Kansas. Yes, Kansas is now located in Canada. Fuck with me. And I'll just go hunting. I'll just keep doing my hillbilly routine. I mean, why? Why do I have to be around people? It's probably why so long Brock Lesnar has strayed away from social media and strayed away from, you know, society. Because, I mean... Have you read these tweets? This is fucking society. And then the second thing is, clearly these people don't give a dog shit titty fuck about anything that they're discussing at the moment. May I remind you, we're talking about wrestling activists. They don't care. These are a bunch of tartars who are going around pretending as if they're being virtuous by one, flat out lying in certain circumstances and pretending as if Brock Lesnar did things that were not even insinuated even in the court documents such as rape. But two, pretending as if the things that was proposed to Brock Lesnar, the majority of them, like I said, mostly the men, would not have taken part of. These people, not only virtue signal, not only do they project because you say things that are not being suggested in the court documents, making me think, are these things that you currently want to do? Or, you know, you just be simply, you're a complete fucking retard. I like to go with the second one, but I wouldn't just completely just call out and cancel the first one also. You people have a certain way of how you go about things. It's social media. And almost every post that I read for you has an emoji inside it, has a meme attached to it, has an LOL in the middle of it or behind it or in front of it. The worst thing about social media is the fact that in reality, nothing can never come off as sincere anymore. Nothing I look at on social media ever comes off as if you actually give a damn of what you're talking about. Almost everything that comes off of social media comes off pretentious, condescending, self-righteous, morally superior, which is pretty much self-righteous. And honestly, I think you do it for the likes. I think you do it for the attention. Sometimes there are some people who do it for the political reasonings, obviously. But that's more so just the thing that's cohabitant by your actual party in itself. These people don't have a mind of their own. Um, nine times out of ten, I wouldn't even be doubting the fact that they actually do want to see Brock Lesnar back. But because it's the stance that's popular currently at the moment, they have to take it. And unfortunately, some of these assholes don't do their research. Sometimes they believe the rumors that are pushed and they don't look at the actual documents at hand. And like I said, one person spreads misinformation to the next dumb fuck and that dumb fuck spreads the next information, next misinformation, to the next dumb fuck. And it just circulates and it goes on and 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 on. But when you take that same premise and then you swap it around to something that hurts their identity politics, does it ever take heed? Does it ever get as concerning as what is presented in front of your face? Let's just hypothetically say, for an example, people with Brock Lesnar's ilk was, I don't know, hypothetically going after an indigenous person, a person of color, someone who coincides with a political agenda. What will be the first thing that comes out of their mind? Huh? Like, let's just hypothetically say, for an example, I don't know, Sami Zayn caught some of these allegations. What do you think some of these people will say? Now, mind you, Sami Zayn is a Muslim. Sami Zayn is also a person who knows how to wrestle very, very well to check off for the wrestling activist fans. Do you think they carry the same water? Now, some of these people will come on the comment session. They'll be like, oh, you're being political. Oh, you're telling. Yeah, sure. You can play as stupid as you want to. You can try to create this narrative of, oh, you're fucking delusional for bringing politics into something that's not political. Is it not political? Really? It's not? So, again, if Sami Zayn was in that position, I don't think you guys would have taken the same position. Not the majority of you. I think the majority of you would have taken the, the, the common sense position, which is how are you aligning a guy with rape who is consenting with another consenting adult who is in his house texting 
and who is making an appointment with said consenting adult. And also, how are you going to take the deeds of one person and just project that entire horribly dastardly things that was done with this person, with this person, onto this person? I mean, you wouldn't do that with anything else. Huh? I mean, all I hear all the time is don't judge a book by its cover. Don't see a person who's stealing who happens to be black and then say, for an example, that's the entire black community because that'd be wrong, obviously. But we don't take that same approach when it's not affecting our political affiliations, right? Very convenient to do that with people who have nothing to do with your wrestling taste, have nothing to do with your politics, have nothing to do in regards to affecting your position in this world at all. It's bias, it's favoritism, it's double standards. These people, they don't give a damn about the things that they talk about. They virtue signal and they say whatever they want to say in order to get the satisfaction of the people who are around in their inner circle. They do it to get likes and they do it in order to get adulation and admiration from those around them because these people are vapid, sick fucks. These people are super vain and they can absolutely go fuck themselves. Now, granted, in the end of the day, Brock Lesnar doesn't seem like he's coming back anytime soon, going off of what Fifel is saying. But at the same time, even if he was coming back, why can't you just watch wrestling? Huh? Why can't you just actually keep things contained to professional wrestling? Huh? Huh? And I can understand if there was actual misdeeds being done. But, I mean, even if Brock Lesnar fucked her, fourth time saying it, consenting adults, none of your fucking business. But, apparently we can't keep that contained to just professional wrestling. We have to stretch that out to the personal size. Because like I said, in the end of the day, any way to get likes, any way to get admiration, you're going to take it and you're going to run with it. Because you need that. You need that fix. You need people to recognize that you are the most virtuous person in the world. Well, congratulations. Because, well, like most echo chambers, no one can hear you but the people who are in there with you. So hopefully Brock Lesnar sees this and uh, I would like for him to come back. There's a couple of matches that I would like to see him in. One of them being Gunther, obviously. And then on the other hand, it's like, nah, Brock, maybe you should stay away. Stick your middle finger at these people and tell them to go fuck themselves and continue your hillbilly life of ignoring the outside world. I envy you. Honestly, I'm, for truly, I, I very much envy you. And these people can go about doing their very merry things until one of them eventually screws up, slips up, and then the mob turns on them like they were turning on others when they were a part of the mob. It's never any cycle. Everybody eats their own eventually when you're a leftist. As always, my name is Devonte, and I'll be catching you guys later. Later on for the Dynamite video. Unless you're watching this in the video, you know, you're watching this in the future and then you just ignore this or watch the Dynamite review via the post aligning with the, de the date. Like I said yesterday, if you have any reference to yesterday. Okay, I'm out of here. A deuces and a pee. Ice.